Graduate Fashion Week is the showcase uh, nationally for our students' work. It's about acknowledging the hard work that our students do, acknowledging the hard work that our staff do, both academic and technical staff. And you know, I, I didn't go backstage today, but I, I'm sure it's mayhem. But, I, but I, I think that's what we need to give our students is that exposure, that opportunity to be at a world-class event such as this. That's why I came to study at UEL because it had the opportunities of Graduate Fashion Week, which I wanted to be part of. It's so different, and just seeing something that I've made and seeing my name on the screen in front of a thousand people, like, makes me feel really good, it's brilliant. Four years of hard work is now finished, it's paid off, and I can start like looking to the future. Like, we've been coming before we came to university, Throughout our degree, we've been coming to the shows each year. And I think it's just a good platform for students to get their work out there, to be spotted by um, industry, to be offered jobs. I mean, um, a girl yesterday on our course, um, she won an award on the first day. It's just like such an amazing thing for us. And I think if you're considering studying fashion, like you should always come to these shows and just see like what goes on. It's like the best event for a fashion student. I teared up a little bit, it just feels like everything's done now and it was a relief to see it and I think it looked so good. It was amazing to win the award, it was the best feeling in the world. It was very, I was shocked and I was so happy that hard work to recognised from marketing and it was very overwhelming yesterday as well. It's been a weekend of emotions. <laughs> I feel the students did amazingly well. Really, really proud of all of them. Um, they've worked very hard all year. Um, and obviously it comes together at the very end. Uh, a lot of work from staff, other students supporting them as well, friends and family. Um, and it's just a huge celebration of everything. I'm feeling good about it, really good. You know, I'm really happy for the students. Um, I think they've done a great job, worked very hard. And, you know, I think they've done a great show, which is good. You know. Shows are supposed to be exciting and entertaining. And I think, you know, a lot of those collections, they had a lot to say, um, there's a lot of colour. Um, and a lot of messages, which I think is great. You know, I'm just glad that I suppose their opinions kind of came through in those collections, you know, which is great. But it's important because it's a national event, and you know, it's a national event that's been going for decades. And you can see from our show today, you know, it's fully packed. People are still waiting to get into our show, so that's great for them. It's great for them to see. Obviously, as sad as I am, as people didn't get in, I'm very happy that we were so packed that people couldn't, you know, which is, which is fantastic because they've heard about what happens at UEL and the kind of prestige that we have at the moment, what we're growing to be, which is brilliant. I think it's all due to the staff. They just sort of push you and they never say no to your ideas. They try and make uh, a drawing a reality. One of the key things for me that's really important about UEL and University of East London, I think we give something different. I think we give something extra, and I think that's really what the judges and the public and other students see that we're doing. So it's a fantastic opportunity and exposure that we do very well at every year, and we need to maintain. But what you'll see year on year on year is an improvement of the exposure and the fantastic work that we do at UEL. 100% the best experience of my life so far. I thought going on placement was the best experience in going to Paris, but seeing myself come down the catwalk today was the best feeling ever. <laughs> Makes me very, very emotional. Yeah, very good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry again. Oh.